What's up guys and welcome back to yet another amazing video. It's Rogue to here and today we're going to be doing a video that we haven't exactly done before on the channel. As you can see from the screen I'm going to be ranking the 2020 metagame right in front of you in a tier list. So without any further ado let's get straight into the rankings. So starting off with deck number one Eldritch. This deck has proven to be the most versatile deck this format going from invoked versions to pure to combo it is also the most expensive deck as well i think this is a solid tier one pick the ability that it has to just banish resources and reset new ones is just unmatched i think this format so for the second deck here we have an emancipator and this is probably another tier one deck without a doubt it's just combo 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 with this deck it makes massive boards using Block Dragon to just search more extenders and keep making um, pretty much unbreakable boards that can only really be outed with Dark Ruler no more, which is why a lot of decks are even main decking it. So, Animacipator, I think, is also a tier 1 deck with Metal Lich. Altergeist, and I see now this deck received help from the ban list, and I actually think that Altergeist is a tier 1 strategy. It is just an amazing, amazing deck. The way it can just get its resources out into the field via multi-faker and it's just also a really good back row deck this format the fact that it got multi-faker to three i think just helps this deck immensely with its with its um versatility and its consistency so i think altergeist is our third tier one deck this format it's just a really really good deck Cyber Dragons. Now, this is a deck that always receives support every year, and I think it's a really, really good rogue option. If you know how to play the deck, I feel you could do well with it in events. I don't think it's anything higher than rogue, because the deck can sometimes be a bit underwhelming, but if you get a competent duelist behind this deck, it can seriously do well in today's metagame. So, for the next deck here, we have abcs abcs did get a big hit a big hit in the last ban list with dragon buster going to one and i do think it is an everything else deck our first everything else deck i don't think it's just quite enough for rogue i think if they had busted a three it could be a good rogue deck but for now i just think it needs that help even though it did get new support from the eternity code set in union driver i still think that this is a everything else deck i don't think it has quite enough for this meta so heroes i'd say is also another rogue deck they sort of go hand in hand with cyber dragons these two being fan favorite decks always always seeming to get new support and always it, it always seems to just be one card away from actually breaking to the meta i think that heroes are e an extremely uh, versatile deck with multiple different builds appearing to be doing well in events so I think heroes are just a really good rogue strategy, probably in front of Cyber Dragons, I'd say, just about. I feel like these two decks, if they get more support, will be easily be tier 2, so yeah, we just got to watch out for that. So Dinos, Dinos, I'd say, are another tier 1 deck this format. Dinos, just since Eternity Code, and they got that new card um, that basically is like a mini diagram. And I just think Dinos are probably the best going second deck this format. Their ability to break boards is just pretty much is unmatched, I'd say. It's just an extremely, extremely strong deck. It can main deck going second cards like Mind Control. And it even mains Pancratops as well because it can special it out of the deck. So I think this is the best deck this format for breaking all the boards that these decks in front do set up. I think that it's probably like this tier one. So, Fluffles are uh, also a, one of my favorite decks, to be honest with you, but I do think it's another everything else deck. They are getting new support in future sets, but until that support happens and until we can see how that, how that affects the deck, I still think Fluffles will be an everything else deck. I just don't think they have the consistency and the power to do well in, tour in tournaments like these rogue decks do. Generators. See, this is an interesting deck. I don't know if to put this in everything else or Rogue. I'm gonna put it in everything else due to the fact that it's a level 9 deck and you can brick, but the Eternity Code for this, the support for this deck in Eternity Code was just absolutely amazing. Giving them a normal summon that can basically just tutor out anything from the deck. 
anything that you need for the situation, and I think it's a really good deck now, but I just don't think it has quite enough to be rogue. Now I think we got our first tier 2 deck here. I think we have some Guru here, and I think Subterra Guru is a strong deck, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it has quite enough compared to the other back row decks that I've put above it, like Eldritch and Altergeist. So I think Guru is a really good deck. It can search its negates. It can... I just think that the other back row decks this format can outgrind it and are slightly more powerful than it. Moving on to Infernoids here, I do think that this in the right hands is an amazing rogue deck, especially against the meta decks this format, which seem to suffer from DD Crows, and basically Infernoid deck is a massive DD Crow deck. And I feel like in the right hands, Infernoids are really capable deck in destroying the meta decks this format. Not so much Altergeist, because they don't really rely on the Graveyard that much, just for Manifestation, I'd say. But these other three do rely on the Graveyard quite a bit, and I do believe Infernoid does have a good matchup with them. I just don't think it can consistently beat other decks that aren't the, these top three in tournaments, hence why it's a rogue. So here, this is this would be a Should Doll Invoked, which I think is probably the strongest variant of Invoked right now. I'm going to also put this in Rogue, because I think that Should Doll Invoked are a bit underrated this meta, especially with El Should All Winder being able to just say no to special summons, which, if this is a combo at Lich, basically affects the entire of the Tier 1. So I think Should All Invoked are a bit slept on at the moment, because... They're able to spam monsters on the board and make Elstradol Winder with its quick play fusion in your opponent's turn, stopping them from spamming the board. So I do think that they are a capable deck this format, just not quite enough for tier one or two. So we've got Marincis here, and I do think this is an everything else deck, probably the strongest everything else deck. I just don't see this deck doing anything in tournaments, or I don't see people playing with it as much. It does have potential, don't get me wrong. You can search basically an infinite impermanence to hand every turn. I just, I, it's just one of those decks that something is missing, and when it gets that something, it can be a serious, at least tier 2 deck. So Mech Knights, I'd say, is another tier 2 deck here. Just a really strong going second strategy, with the ability to play first in some builds. I just think that this deck is really strong for what it is. People think that if you go first with a deck, you can't play, but I've seen Mech Knight builds play really well going first, and even do that hand loop and extra deck loop that some variants do play so i do think mech knights is a really strong going second deck just not as strong as dinos at the moment so pendulums see pendulums i think are a rogue deck they constantly getting hit on the ban list because link summoning is such a broken mechanic and i'd still say they're a rogue deck i still think they're really strong the ability to just spam monsters on board and make negates especially in the right hands is a serious serious threat so Orcus, if there was a tier 1.5, this is where I'd put this deck, but I'd say Orcus is probably the best tier 2 deck we have right now, probably in that order. And they got new, they got a new card in Eternity Code as well, top meta decks really receiving a lot of support from Eternity Code. It received the new Gearsu card, which is an amazing card, a Foolish Burial on Summon, and makes a token to let you do combo. I think that this deck is really, really good, but just not quite tier one yet. I think it I think we need to see more variants of Orcus or more pure Orcus players testing the deck and finding the right build for it. I feel like with the right build it can actually contest tier one, but I just don't think we found that yet. So we got Rocket Dragon Link here. I say that this is a solid rogue deck. Probably like this, I'd order them. And I'd say that this fits comfortably into the rogue tier because it we have seen that it is a very capable deck, just not a lot of success has come to it. Um, I think that's because the deck is quite complex in its combos and people just would rather play different combo decks like Animacipator or even Dinos in a sense. But I think this deck is really capable and in the right hands can win you some events. Moving on to Sky Striker here, the deck that just doesn't seem to die. I'd say that this is a tier 2 deck. I don't think it's just quite enough for tier 1, but as you can see recently, it has been topping events and winning entire events against these tier 1 decks. So I think it's a, it's probably like best of the rest in tier 2. Potentially could be a tier 1, but I just I just think there's that something missing. That's something missing being engaged because it got banned on the 
past list. I just think that this deck is a really, really, still a really, really strong tier two deck. Don't get me wrong, three Kagari does wonders for the deck, but I just don't think it can compete with these tier ones, even though it has been. I just, I don't know, there's something. This is my opinion. I just don't think Sky Strikers can. Moving on to Thunder Dragons. Ah, oh, poor Thunder Dragons. They got wrecked on the ban list. Got Colossus from three to one. I'd say that this is a rogue deck here. Probably behind Marin Cess, I'd say. Probably in this order, I'd put the rogue decks. I say Thunder Dragons. If they get Colossus back, yep, that's straight to tier two, tier one, potentially. But without Colossus, I think the deck just struggles in finding a means to, to do anything, really. Colossus was sort of your little floodgate, which stopped your opponent from comboing off and just doing unfair things. So I feel without Colossus, the deck kind of doesn't really have a purpose. Uh, we got tunes here. I think tunes are everything else. Even with the new support that has, that has um been seen to be coming in tune chaos. I just don't think the deck is good enough to be in rogue or anything above. I just still think the deck is just a fan favorite deck and that it won't really do much. It's sort of like the same as fluffles, but I feel like fluffles have a bit of a higher higher seating than tunes. I just think that tunes in itself is its strategy its way of playing is just not a top tier way of playing so we got my favorite deck here pretty much my favorite deck we've got trains and unfortunately i'd put this in and everything else probably here uh this deck ha can be very effective in just winning you games outright with its amazing rank 10 xc's monsters but i just don't think in a big tournament you can see that happening consistently because after game one your opponent knows how to p what you're playing and they'll just make you go first and with this deck if you don't see your side deck cards going first i just don't think you can really do much so unfortunately even though i've had quite a bit of success with this deck i just don't think it's a rogue or even a tier two deck i just i think it's an everything else deck so prank kids well prank kids where am i going to put prank kids i'd say prank kids is also an everything else deck Probably above Thunder Dragon, probably in this order here. I think it's a probably one of the closest decks along with Marin Sester being a rogue deck. We saw it win a event a while ago against Thunder Dragons, being piloted by a person that obviously knows how to play the deck. I just think that this deck, with Instant Fusion being put to one, has suffered quite a bit because Instant Fusion was one of its ways of going, of extending and starting its combos and going first. So I think that with Instant Fusion to 1, the deck has seen quite a bit of a nerf. And I just think they struggle getting two monsters on board to start their plays. I think if they got a Link 1, they'd be a solid Rogue or even Tier 2 deck. But until then, I'm going to leave them in the everything else category. Salomon Great. I'd say this is probably the king of Tier 2. This deck just doesn't seem to die. It's one of those decks that no matter how many times you hit the deck, it's just going to keep coming back. And keep coming back with Vengeance. With Access Code, along with Sky Striker, it gave the deck a new win condition in that card. And I think Salad is just a really resilient deck. Probably the most one of the most budget-friendly decks, too. With three structure decks, you can sort of have a relatively competitive deck. So I say Salmon Greats has been a staple of the meta for a few years now. And I still think it's one of the best decks this format. Moving on to Zodiac, I'd say Zodiac is a very, very niche rogue pick, but it is a rogue pick nonetheless. I'd say it's probably even behind Infernoids and Pendulum. I just, um, the deck does have a new uh, new win condition with that Infinite Track Link monster, but I feel like the deck, until it gets broad, broad pullback and more barrage, it is going to struggle because after you turn one, after you make your one Dryden, it's going to... It's going to struggle to put anything else on board, any more disruptions. You can break the Drainer back, but if it gets banished, I'd, I'd say it's a bit of a losing battle with Zodiacs. I do think they have potential. If they get Barrage to 3, I do think this will skyrocket them up the ranks in Rogue, potentially even a Tier 2 deck. But until that happens, I'm going to leave them in the Rogue category. And my favorite deck of all time, Gimmick Puppets. Oh, how badly I'd want to put them in Tier 1. And I hope that one day they receive the most broken support of all time and become tier one deck but unfortunately it's pro it's the worst deck in the entire list but i had to add it because it's my favorite deck my first ever deck and i'd say that the deck is just extremely extremely flawed it's brick fest you just draw too many level eights and when you don't draw the level eights you sort of struggle getting them in your grave for, and making xc's plays 
I have guys been trying to make this deck work for years, and I just doesn't it just doesn't seem to be possible. So, this is my tier list of the twenty twenty June format, and I don't think it's going to change much until the next coming banlist in September. I don't really see any of the new sets bringing in any new decks or or moving any of the decks up a rank. I do believe there's going to be fluctuation between the rank between the individual ranks, but I don't see any decks going above what they've currently put them now. But then again, this is my opinion. So you guys should let me know in the comments down below where you guys would have ranked your decks. And please leave a like in this video to show me that you do like this sort of video content because this is new for the channel. And hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. It's time to... Let's go!